Hello and welcome to the video for fourth grade for Wednesday, April the 15th. This is going to cover our new lesson on working with classifying triangles by angles. So in the last lesson we were working with identifying um, right angles, obtuse angles, and acute angles. And so we are going to use that information um, to help us figure out what type of triangle we have. So let's go ahead and take a look at the Unlock the Problem. They wanted us to use coloring pencils as long as you're like drawing an arrow or something like that, that's fine. Um, I'm not sure how many of you have coloring supplies at home. Um, so we are going to use red if we see a right angle, which means we are going to have a right triangle. If we have acute angles for all three, we're going to use orange. And if we have an obtuse angle, which is an angle that is going to open up to larger than 90 degrees, then that is going to give us an obtuse triangle. So um, we are going to use that information as we go through our lesson. So to start with, let's find all of our orange ones. So these are the ones that all have angles that are smaller than 90 degrees. And so hopefully that will help us zoom in, I'm just going to kind of put an X for that one because all three of these look like they're actually the same angle size, um, but they are all smaller than 90 degrees. So our next one we have um, smaller, smaller, this is going to be a larger one, so that would go with blue. This one has a right angle. If you're ever questioning whether it looks like it could be straight, but it maybe isn't, um, for the purposes of what we're working with, if you don't see this little tiny box, assume that it could possibly be either an acute angle or an obtuse angle. Um, so for, at least for this lesson, if they give you the little um, square to show that it's a right angle, that is the way that we're going to be able to tell that it's a right angle. So we have one right angle here, so that one will go red. I have acute, acute, obtuse, so that's going to give us blue. Again, we're going to have a right angle. This one looks like all of them are acute angles. They maybe are not all the same angle, or they could be. It's the shape could be sideways, and it could go this way. Um, but that is going to match with orange. Um, right below that, we have another red. This one here. So again, if you don't see the little square, you have to assume that it is either acute or obtuse. It looks like if it's not exactly even, um, that it is probably obtuse. So I'm gonna go ahead and mark that one blue. And then our very last one, again, has a right angle. So I will mark that red. Um, down at the bottom, name the triangle with one right angle. So that would be our one that has the little box here. So that would be this guy. The one with the obtuse angle would be our far one, and the one with three acute angles would be this one. All right, so now let's go to our even, or excuse me, odd numbers for our share and show. So the name for the triangle is going to be acute, right, or obtuse. So here we have our uh, little marking that's a square that shows that it is a right angle. So for that, the name for the a, uh, triangle is going to be a right triangle. Okay. Um, the angle for F is going to be acute. I'm just going to put an A to abbreviate. The angle for G is going to be a right angle. I'm going to put an R. And then H is also going to be an acute angle. Um, this one here would be an obtuse triangle because this one would be larger than 90 degrees. We don't have the little square here. Our third one, they just want us to tell what type of triangle it is. So again, I have an angle here that is larger than 90 degrees, so that would be an obtuse triangle. Number four would be an acute triangle because all three are looking like that they are smaller than 90 degrees. Uh, number five, again, we're classifying. We have this marking that shows that it is a right triangle. 
Um, number six would be um, acute, and number seven would be right. Again, because if we ever see this marking here, that is a giveaway that it is a right triangle. Um, number eight. So the only one, if you were trying this one at home, think about which one might not work. If you need to pause the video, go ahead and do that. And it would be this one. So this one has three acute angles. Every other one has at least one obtuse angle. So our obtuse angles would be here, here, and here. So that covers the problems that I wanted to go over and even a couple extra uh, for the uh, lesson for today. I think this is a really simple task once you understand what you're looking for. Um, it's really easy to answer that. Again, we're not asking for measurements of angles. We just want to know that you recognize what type they are. So um, thank you to everyone that came for the conference call today. Um, today as I'm recording this on Tuesday. Um, if you are wanting to come on Wednesday, I will make that available to everyone as well. Our next regularly scheduled one where you have to check in with me in the comments in Google Classroom will be on Thursday. So hope you have a great day and I will see you tomorrow.